Hey Taurus, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? We gonna be doing a reading for you all. This is going to be a what is going on in your energy um, read, okay? We're gonna be seeing what we need to look into um, that is most pressing at this time for you to be aware of. I hope everybody is off to a very beautiful day wherever you are, no matter what day of time it is, no matter what day it is that you see this read, because I know that I am recording this today on November the 20th. It is Monday for me of 2023, but <clears throat> it could be a complete completely different day for you no matter when it does find you. I hope that it finds you when you are at peace or definitely in need of this information and it resonates with you to help to guide you um, to better answers and um, to make better decisions. So let's see, what do you need to know, Taurus? These two wanna come out. We got the Three of Swords coming out in the upright with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So, could it be that somebody who you thought was family or who you thought or who you considered as family could have broke your heart? This could be people who you don't have kids with or this could be people who, you know, you no longer view as family anymore. You and your King of Pentacles energy. There's an ex-lover of yours who you miss or who miss, who misses you. They could be a Gemini or they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. We got Capricorn. You coming out with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you got a, you got a family that you no longer communicate with or talk to you may be in your bag though you may be getting to a getting to the money for sure you're getting to the money because you're in the ten of pentacles too you're in the, i mean the king of pentacles as well aside from like you and your family not getting along and like your family could have disappointed you you move past that so you got like family members and you got like exes who you um who you feel like you know in some, in some way or another, they did you wrong or your family could have broke your heart or they could have betrayed you in some type of way by making you break up with an ex of yours who you really miss or who you really love or like got love for. You feel like you, you threw your relationship down the drain for family members who were not, who I'm hearing snakes or who are not um, there for your best interest or for your, you know, for the relationship of, you know, for the relationship of you and somebody who you really care about. I'm seeing with the queen of swords out here in reverse, <clears throat> you can have like a, a very, um, a real bitchy or like very bossy, manipulative, feminine energy around you. That could be an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libra. And y'all could be in a commitment together at this time. Or you were this could be the ex of yours who you miss or that misses you these signs do not have to be your sun sign these could be signs anywhere in your placement or someone that you're dealing with all right you could you couldn't kind of know that this person miss you or that this person love you Or like got a little bit of love for you or some type of way. Or like this is some type of puppy love. You could be a Sagittarius. Temperance in reverse. You could be toxic. Too toxic for this relationship. Or too toxic for this person. Somebody is like two people. I'm saying that a, a younger love, this is an older, this is like a younger relationship, but an older relationship, like a young love, but an older relationship where um, two people, they ended up being together since they were like younger, like teenage love, but somebody, they ended up breaking up their family or their home. There's a queen of sorts that's heartbroken um, by a king of pentacles, somebody who they were in a relationship with who ended up fucking up their home 
by basically missing their ex-partner. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this person is highly offended or now like they're they're mad or like they feel betrayed that this person is in love with you or in love with someone else and it's not them. Yeah, just as in reverse, they feel like somebody is like unfair or not right, it's not right. Yeah, but this is a uh, queen of wands in reverse. Somebody who feels inferior or somebody who knows that this isn't going anywhere. Somebody is not fully invested into this relationship or into something that they rather be somewhere else. Somebody knows that. Yeah, they're not invested in this relationship. Somebody knows that they're only giving a little bit. They're not trying to make this relationship work. So somebody could be trying to make a like doing the bare minimum for somebody to want to leave because they know that someone expects a lot. Yeah, they want to leave. They hoping that this person leaves because they're bored and they don't want to be in this relationship. Yeah, but somebody is trying to hold on. Somebody who is who don't want to face the face the matter that this shit is over is trying to prevent this from ending. But this tower is here. Somebody is going somewhere else and it is not here. They're leaving. Someone feels like this person is not their person. They're going to be happier cutting this person off. They're in love with somebody else who, you know, they, they, they rather be with. That's a newer person in their life. They want to return to somebody from their past. They want to walk away from this situation because they feel like this is a no-go. Yeah, somebody is getting ready to take a leap of faith elsewhere. And they they, they in love with some another option. They've been talking to them. Yeah, with a Scorpio that they about to be in a relationship with a Scorpio and a Sagittarius. Somebody is being guided by their ancestors to stop playing games pretty much and to um, stop stalling because they've been stalling in this relationship or in this new beginning with the Queen of Cups. Somebody who they know they should be with, but they're being held up by somebody else who is unhealed, who wants them to stay with them. But even though this relationship is over, this home is broken and this family is done. Well, as far as the relationship aspect of it, somebody don't want to um, co-parent. They want to be in this situation with this person where it's pretty much a done deal. There's no growth here, even though this man is wealthy, maybe taking care of the home, but it's not taking care of this person's emotions or care about them. We're going to go into what's the scoop real quick. Let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. What's the scoop? What's the scoop? Sexual fan fantasies. Yeah, somebody want to be with somebody else. They do not want to be here. Yeah, they be getting messages and they be having to delete them motherfuckers. They be getting sexy pictures and shit. They be having to delete them. They, somebody be questioning this masculine like, you in love with that bitch? You in love with her, ain't you? He be like, no. Then y'all could be going through a temporary breakup or a temporary tough cycle where you and this person, y'all don't really be talking like that, but y'all don't be talking because shit, this motherfucker be around this, this person and this bitch who pretty much be all up in their shit they still live together but they not together or like this shit is over and somebody is high in the fact that this shit is over um with like for real for real or that they go you know that they really in love with their ex and that they miss them hella much but they don't want to hurt this person who they live with feelings because this is somebody who they've been knowing for hella long since they were younger um you know um it's like puppy love but somebody is hoping that they could see somebody else yeah somebody is definitely Definitely could be a Sagittarius, unbalanced temperance energy, um, unhealed, unbalanced justice energy too, okay? Um, could be a thief. Spirit, give us more info on this thief card. So in love, rocking emotions. This is somebody who was trying to steal with you, who don't ever be at home, who's overprotected. They always be gone, but they change. They let go of their ego. They was prideful or something. They they in love with you. They've been looking at their stuff. They know that this bullshit ain't right. They're, this person is very secretive. They're toxic as well, okay? Um, they're a big-ass flirt, and this is somebody who, um, who was in the past acting cold, but now they're not acting cold anymore or... Okay, so this is for like this this message now is for the person. If you're the person who someone wants is leaving their family for or is unhappy with their family and pretty much destructing that shit because somebody else that they're with could be their child's mother or um wife or some shit like that, or a long time um person who they've been knowing for hella long, who they still, you know, be fucking around with because they live together, but they not really with them for real, for real. This person is uh, being left out in a cold pretty much. They notice 
motherfucker don't really want to be with them. This person, meanwhile, is over here on the other side, on the right side, thinking about you. You got the left with the family that's broke you on the right. You're the person um, who they're thinking about, who they're really so in love with. But, you know, um, that you be making them feel like you don't give a fuck about them or y'all be going through y'all shit or whatever. And this person, it, it's because they're toxic as fuck and it's because they got this shit going on. They be wanting to have their cake and eat it too. They got you and they got this person and they're trying to hide this shit, but you already may know about this. And um, this person is thinking about you and how they want to be with you meanwhile they're trying to avoid letting this person know that it's over and how you know they're this this shit ain't working out anymore and how you know um they want to be with you but aside from that that's that's one of the key reasons why this person don't never be at home is because shit they're not happy at home yeah, they could be watching you. They be watching you, paying attention to you. They be hella moody when they be at home, mad as fuck at this person. Yeah, because they really in love with you, heartbroken in reverse. We got heart... They're, this person is deeply in love with you. Like, they they will leave their family in a heartbeat because they, they choose you. We got moody. This person be tripping. Could be a cancer. Yeah. This person don't care about their memories that they used to have with anyone. They used to spoil someone that they were with in the past, but they let them go. Someone is not going to be able to forgive them, but they ain't, they ain't apologetic either. They don't give a fuck. They're going to go take a trip or they're going to send somebody off on a trip. Um, Someone's going to go on a trip where they're going to spend a lot of money and they're going to feel or they're going to be catered to cooking be you and someone is gonna treat you real nice and y'all gonna be like two birds and if two um two two bees in a in a nest or whatever because y'all could be getting pregnant or um some a baby could be procreated during that time but um yeah y'all may end up taking a vacation or someone's gonna send you off on vacation if they don't come and join you but this person's so in love i don't see why they wouldn't because they don't want to see you there with nobody else on their dime and they for damn sure want to be there just in general so they hoping that you accept the offer so that they could come and slide up on you even if they say that they send you by yourself but that is what i have for you guys at this time checking my surroundings i got people all around me um but i'll see you all soon until next time that hey i e i said there's a male that's watching you right um yeah may need to pay attention to what's going on around you may have someone stalking you low-key whether that's f physically energetically or online I'll see you all soon. Until next time, be blessed, stay prosperous, and take care of yourself. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And to all of my new subscribers, I appreciate your love, light, and support. Continue to thumbs up the video and continue to share my videos. I'll see you later. Bye.